One of the major principles in pickup is escalate on high notes, okay? Uh, meaning, if you're gonna try and get physical, don't do it at some random time. Do it when the girl's feeling emotionally positive. Um, do it when she's likely to be most receptive to it. And this is actually a really good principle and something that in general you should do. Um, and most guys, when they start off in pickup, they don't know this and they have a lot of trouble escalating. Then they learn this and the escalation gets a lot easier. So it's a very useful thing to know. Um, and it's kind of like an intermediate kind of lesson in pickup. Today I'm gonna to teach you an advanced lesson, which is don't always escalate on high points. Or specifically, what is actually better to do on a lot of high points than escalate. And what I'm gonna suggest you do, it's kind of counterintuitive, because escalating is like moving things forward on a high point. What I'm, gonna ask, what I'm gonna suggest you do is move things backward on a high point in a weird kind of way. Um, and so what else can you do on a high point really well? You can do a takeaway. You can do a disqualifier or a push away, and you can do a freeze out. I'm gonna explain briefly what those are. Um, and then I'm gonna explain why you wanna do them on high points as well and why they're so important. In fact, in a lot of ways, at an advanced level of game where you wanna get the girl to chase you and you wanna get the girl like really like buying in and committing hard to what's going on, um, these might be more important than escalating, all right? Because the goal in really advanced game is actually to get the girl to escalate on you. And that's what I do most of the time is the girls, when I, when I um, you know, bring girls uh, back home, remembering, remembering a certain very recent field report. Um, when I do bring girls back home, most of the time they're escalating on me as much or more than I'm escalating on them. And if anything, they're like complaining that I'm not escalating fast enough. And that's a good thing, right? That's them getting bought in. Okay, so um, why is this so important? Why, okay, what, what are these things first of all? Disqualifier is basically you telling the girl that you and she won't work some reason or um, that um, you're not so sure or you need to take it slower. Those kind of, or you're not that kind of guy. Basically all the different excuses that a girl gives you or anything that would indicate to her that, that you're not ready or that you, you need more or that it's not gonna work, whatever. Now, a disqualifier is not an insult. It's not you're a shitty person. It's I think you're a wonderful person. This just isn't working between us. If it's an insult that comes off as tryhard. If it's this just isn't working, then um, there's nothing there's nothing offensive about it. But it still is a bit devalidating. It still is a bit. Um, it, it it makes her want to chase and it gives her something to chase. All right. Um, the other one pushaways is is similar. Now, nah, like get out of here that kind of stuff. Or um, oh, the other way like you can go. Um, and then a, a, a back turn or a freeze out is also same kind of thing, which is like, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, give me a minute. I just wanna do this. And you just kind of ignore her for a bit. Um, and a lot of guys, they do uh, back turns or freeze outs on low points, right? The girl kind of resists them or reacts negatively to them. And then they're like, okay, fine. Well, I'll just go over here. And it looks super reactive, okay? When you get really good, you can actually do it at low points and have it work. Like I'm, I'm actually very good at doing it on a low point when I need to. Um, but that's a tough technique to learn. And most guys, when they do it, they fuck it up and they look super reactive and they'll ruin the set based on it. But the one time that even if you're not that calibrated and even if you're not that good, and also the time when it's most effective to do a disqualifier, a back turn, or a takeaway is not on a low point, but actually on a high point. Because again, um, for the same reason that you want to escalate on a high point, because you know, you're less likely to get a very negative reaction, you're more likely to get a positive reaction. It's the same thing with these things like disqualifying and, and takeaways and that kind of stuff. Imagine, I might put yourself in the girl's shoes for a second. You're in this moment where you're feeling more fun and more into someone than you ever have. And at that exact moment, you're like, yeah, I don't think we're getting along. What the fuck? Like what would go on in your, and you'd have that feeling in the pit of your stomach, like what, what happened, what, what the hell? I've had that happen to me with girls and it sucks, right? It's like you just got punched in the gut a little bit emotionally and you want to get it back and you feel like unjustified and you'll like, in that moment, you will do anything to win this person over. That's what you're doing to the girl and it's extraordinarily effective. And so the fact that it's on a high point is very useful because you have that feeling. It's that such, that, such that gap that they're on a high and now they're like, oh shit. Right, so it's more effective, it's, it's actually more powerful. Also, at the high point is the time when you have most leverage and most maneuverability, right? Because at the high point is the place where you're at least likely to lose the set. If you do something at a low point, especially if it's something like, yeah, you can go now, at a low point, they're likely to be like, oh, okay, and just leave, right? Or even be angry and be like, okay, fuck you, and just leave, right? But at a high point, that's when they, they want to stay the most, and that's when it's gonna work the most, okay? so. What I want to suggest to you, and you, this is actually very actionable. Um, one, okay, mission one, if you're having trouble escalating, learn to escalate on high points, 
Okay, learn to notice the high point and use that to escalate. So if you're, if you're at that basic level where you're learning to escalate, that's, that's where I want you to take this, is learn to escalate, okay? Once you're comfortable escalating and once you understand escalating on a high point, what I want you to do then is try to, on like at least as many high points as you escalate on, try and disqualify or de-escalate, all right? And it does not have to be super harsh. It doesn't have to be like, we will never have sex. That's, that's not the disqualifier you want to do. It's like, yeah, you know what? Um, I like you, but I'm, I'm really not so sure about you. That's good. Like a push pull is fine. Anything that has a little bit of a push away or, or like, you know, you're in the middle of like a high conversation and you're like, you know what? Give me a second. Let me, let me check something. You pull out your phone, check something, and then you go back to it. Those kind of things are great at high points. Another one I'll, um, that I did, um, again, in the same story, uh, uh, the same recent story that was really, really good and really, really useful was we're making out very intensely, very good. And then I stopped the make out at a high point when she's getting really into it. I was like, wait, wait, wait hang on, slow down. Um, this is fun and everything, but like, I just, I'm just curious about you. Like, tell me something that would surprise me about you. Cause I just like, like, I just realized I really just don't know you. I don't know how I feel about this. Right. And so it's like, oh shit. She, first of all, that st state is broken. She was in this high and she's like, oh shit, whatever. But then it's, it's this idea of like, oh, I have to prove myself to him. I have to earn it. And she's very willing to do it and very much wants to do it because she wants that high point back, right? And then it's also qualifying and building comfort. So the whole thing just comes together in this, this mix of making her chase me. And that was actually the move I did right before I took the girl from like the living room to my bedroom um, so, that, um, so that that made that transition smooth. And the emotions of that moment were her chasing and wanting to qualify. So she didn't even think about like the fact that she's going to my bedroom. She just thought about the fact that she lost my affection, lost my attention, and she wanted to get it back. Okay. So very, very, very useful, very, very powerful. If you want to get from intermediate to advanced, it's something you really need to learn. All right. So um, number one, if you didn't know Escalate on high points, learn that implement that. That's, that's a basic tenet of game. And if you don't have that down, you need to. Once you're good at that, once you're comfortable with that, learn to de-escalate on high points as well.